Bye, buddy. That's mid-September, fall of 2017, and Timmy Fulton and I drew a special a deer tag in Wyoming, mule deer, so just pulling into Timmy's right now to pick him up. Um, worked late last night, so we're getting kind of a late start. I had to pack all morning. I brought a horse and two pack mules, and Timmy's bringing a horse. And then Dallas Lane, our good buddy that builds our custom rifles for us, um, he used to live up here next to us, is going to meet us down there and just go along with us to uh, help glass and pack. So that's a good buddy. We're super excited to see what this trip is going to bring. Hopefully, we'll grab some uh, great footage and, and have a successful trip. Keep you posted. Driving through Montana, smoky or lots of forest fires. Nice. Can't wait to get down to some snow. 80 degrees here. It's supposed to snow down there. We've got to find the factory jack in this thing now. We got a flat tire on the trailer. Well, it's not flat yet, but we have no tread. Mention any units that you want to try. 89. 89? That looks like a good one drought. Okay. For real. We'll try. <laughs> that sucker's loaded. People ask how bucks. we scout, this is how we do it. Big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, where we're heading. That's an 89. <laughs> or was it 98? I'm not sure. 89, that's the one. <laughs> where at? Like right in the center usually or? We'll just do the South Fork Casper Creek. Oh, okay. That's where the big boys are. That's where we're going, guys. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> wants to know location? Yep, that's it. Alrighty. Just hit 89, even 90 is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got in just after midnight, got a motel, met up with Dallas Lane the next morning, and headed out to pack in. Well, the weather's already panning out for us. It's super and supposed to be a chance of rain and snow every day for the next seven days. Well, we're gonna get all this and whatever's in the back of the seat. Um, three animals, four animals. I plan on packing it for a minute. You could try spinning it with it. It's up to you guys. I don't think we're gonna get it off. It's gonna be tight. Yeah. A lot of weight on it. Try. Can we take your gun out? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah let's just take that out. So it's not getting beat around. You could build them another one. One, two, three. Oh, that's something heavy. Jesus Christ. As soon as we found a good camp spot, we tied our horses up and went to do some glassing before it got dark. This is the day before season. Well, what do you think of my secret spot? Who's the boss now? <laughs> <laughs> You're the boss, man. <laughs> say it like you mean it. No, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, say it like you mean it. <laughs> <laughs> You're the boss. <laughs> boss. Oh, that's pretty awesome. It Saw is. some really nice bucks. Couple fighting. I got dibsies on at least five. <laughs> Travis got dibsies on a couple I do, but <laughs> we'll just see how the smoke clears them off. I knew we shouldn't have brought Dallas. He'll be here next year. I was the one that spotted him. You think I wasn't gonna spot him? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I, was, I walked up here and said, I'm I was too busy <laughs> looking at the top one with deep. I was busy looking looking for the big buck. And then I spotted these with my binos and said, hey Dallas, look at those. And you're like, oh my gosh, look at that one. <laughs> Okay, maybe it was a team effort. I don't know. <laughs> I've seen the one in the sun first, but apparently I'm here just for morals. That's, that's the one I dibsies you stay off him. Doggone, I wish I didn't look at him again. I might go up tonight and get that sucker. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at that back kicker. Look, he's got a back kicker. He's got kickers off everywhere. And he's got a kicker off his kicker. He's like, look, that's a stag, man. That thing's awesome. That's a freaking stag. That's so wicked. One, two, oh. three, four, five, six, seven, eight on his right side. Oh, okay, Trav. Someone's got to shoot that one. That's what I said. All right, when I saw it. <laughs> He's no, for real, someone has to get that one. I don't know what you're oh, not what? hearing me say because I'm pretty oh. sure I said that. Yeah, Where is he at right now? He's out, right in, the out in the sun. Just glistening away. After these bucks fought their way down into the timber, we decided to get a couple hundred yards closer on another vantage point, see if we could get a closer look at some of these bucks. Oh, no. Look at him right here. Oh, he's got it, too. Oh, he got some shit going on. Uh -huh. That one's got nice front forks. That one's got nice back forks. That one's got a kicker. That one's got stuff going out the side. Let's just put them all together. We're gonna see what these bucks do tonight and head back and try and get here first thing in the morning. But we've seen four shooters so far. Uh, one, we're calling tall and heavy. He's a real nice buck, just good forks front and back. Nice and heavy. Another one, what, what'd you name your buck? Do you name it? No name. No name. He's got a kicker coming in one side. And he's still in velvet, but nice, wide, tall buck. Another one was just a nice, wide, tall one. And then there's one we're calling Narnar. -nar. He's got one average side in his right side. He's got all sorts of stuff going on. Thought he had about eight points on that one side. So whatever buck makes the first opportunity tomorrow is the one that we'll be taking home with us most likely hopefully if everything works out weather people bears all the things that can screw up hunting us <laughs> us wind snow narnar would be awesome yes that time we just he's just cool that big old handlebar Narnar disappeared in the fog, so we decided to head back, get a good dinner, hit it in the morning. Opening day of season. Got over here where we saw those bucks yesterday. It was a beautiful day yesterday. And you can see behind me, it's just snowing. It's fogged in. Just wanted to come make sure that I couldn't see it this morning. We're going to go back, get a bunch of firewood cut, get our clothes dried out, and uh, take care of the horses today. And hopefully this evening it'll Maybe clear off, we'll come try it again. About the time I got back to the tent, it looked like it was starting to break. So I grabbed Timmy and Dallas, and we headed back out just before dark. And it didn't take long, we had one little break in the fog and the snow. Spotted a really nice buck, and I believe this was a different buck than one that we had saw the day before. But another really nice, tall, heavy 5x5. Five five. Timmy's on the gun, gonna try and make a shot. By the time we got the camera set up, we only had about a 40 second window where the rangefinder was picking up the deer. Then, as you can see, it got worse and worse. Fast forward a couple minutes to the zoom out. I can just barely see over there now, it's snowing so hard. Oh man, it looks like it's gonna get worse. There's no sense in taking it unless it's perfectly. I can't pick up a range. Give me 40 yards. Fucking snow. Gosh. I just do. I, I can't even get. We had about a 30 second, 40 second window. Yeah. I don't have, I don't have enough light in my scope with all this snow. Okay, the plan is we got a thing of fog. We got some buck spot over there. So Timmy and I are going to make a move. If the fog clears, we're going to sit down. Keep doing that until we get in range. Dell's gonna stay here and give us orange hat signals to lead us into him. Let's do it now. Well, it's not focusing, but it's snowing like crazy. Going across these rocks. Which gave us a window to get over here and get him within range. Well, we got here about nine o'clock. It's now. 
they're right above where we think. It's a real nice group of bucks is at about 10 bucks. About 400 yards away from where we last saw them. Just trying to stay warm. Wait for this fog to clear in the snow. There's two over there, too. Oh, they're nice. Okay, is he standing there broadside? Yes, looking to the right. Yeah. Holy smokes, he's nice. They are so hard to see on this camera though. Hold up. Two minutes for a Okay, he's the one coming out. Are you on the one coming out? Are you on the same one? Yeah, I'm on him. 467. That? You on him? Yeah, I'm on him. That's above him? I, I couldn't tell. I think he... That one hit him. Somewhere. He's just kicking around in the trees. I think he's going down. I think he's down. You got I think he died. Grab your gun, Timmy. You got a line of bucks going at the bottom. Unfortunately, the rest of the bucks that we had saw in that basin after the shooting happened all ran out of there, and we never did see Narnar -nar again. He must have known season was around the corner when the blizzard hit, and he ended up pulling away from this bachelor group and never saw him again. Well, we got one down over there, looks like. Not sure what happened. It looked like I missed the second shot. Maybe hit it the second and third shot. It's only 450 yards. The wind's howling. I was cold. No excuses. I don't know. I just missed one. Looks like I got a dead. Yeah, nice buck. Dead buck. Real nice nice buck. buck. Real nice and heavy. But we're just gonna pack up, get over there. Because there was another shooter in that group. The plan was that I was gonna drop that one first shot, and Timmy was gonna shoot that next one. And so I missed the plan of getting two. At least we got one. I'm sure we'll get another one. So let's clean our stuff up. Yeah. Let's take a look. Okay. Oh, you found some? Oh, good deal. There he is. Found him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Down the hill, always. Oh, geez, there's a lot of blood here. Let's 
It's been a long shot. Wow. We're right, he is heavy. Wow. Holy smokes. That is a tank. Wow. That's by far the biggest buck I've ever taken. Wow. Holy smokes. Jeepers. Right. That is awesome, Trav. <laughs> Good job. Thanks, man. man. He is, Holy He's cow. bigger than I thought. That thing is a giant. Wow. Look at that lung blood. Oh, look how heavy he is on the bases. Boy, he, for... Deep. Not showing any signs of hit. I'd be curious to roll oh. up and see where I get. Unreal. That thing is heavy. I can't believe how big he is. Gosh, that's a day. Right on, man. Thanks for being here. That was awesome. We uh, got over here, found this guy. Looks like I hit him the second shot, a little far back, but angling through, came out the lungs. And after that point, you know, you're throwing Hail Marys. I hit him in the neck. <laughs> it doesn't matter, he's down. <laughs> Beautiful buck. This is by far the biggest muley buck I've ever taken. I'm super, super happy with him. Looks like I've got to mount him. He's a he's a tanker. He's just super heavy, tall. This is uh, the one we nicknamed Big and Heavy that we saw the day before season. But the weather's just been horrible. As you can see, this is like our first clear spot. But we're going to... Uh, just get with the program here and get this thing going because we have to side hill back all the way across back over to there yeah. and that's still not to camp that's just where we spotted these deer this morning we're able to use the fog and the snow to our advantage to get over here without them seeing us but super grateful to get this big guy down another one another one for stuck in the rut yeah 2017. Awesome. thanks man yeah <laughs> We're just finishing packing up. I got two hind quarters in my pack. Waters are frozen. Waters are all frozen. I usually make it about quarter mile that water, so <clears throat> we'll see how this works out. Yep, get some. Get it. A long ways to go. Oh, I think it was nothing. It's heavy, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I know it is. Still got the 10 pound gun I gotta throw on when we get over there. I thought about that. Here comes Dallas to help. He was just glassing today. Packing out. Nice buck on the back. This is a steep, steep hill. <laughs> Thank you, boys. You're welcome. <laughs> The tent uh, didn't fare. Well, it fared probably about like us, I guess. Uh, it's, just, just, it's just my corner, don't just worry about it. one broken corner. She'll shake out. But we're back. She'll shake out. We got the buck back in one trip. Let's go see if we have any horses left. Oh, found it. Beautiful day today. We are heading out. <laughs> Timmy has got to get back to his five trucks. He can't wait. Got to get back to them logging trucks. Yeah. That's how I make a living. Yeah. It sucks, but it's part of life. <laughs> All righty. And I got a lead rope stuck between my butt cheeks. <laughs> says we're going to be back at. 2 a.m. And Timmy's got to get up and go to work at 3 a.m. <laughs> Allegedly. It's going to be a great night. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe for more Stuck in the Rut videos. Thank you for watching. Let's get this. To stay current on our upcoming hunts and events, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook.